Fliegt Deutschland! Seht uns! Marschiert Deutschland! Soldiers, sailors and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. the Republic of South Korea. The communist attack is powerful. The defeat of South Korea seems assured, except that the United States is committed to aid in their defense.
Last Friday, Noriega declared his military dictatorship to be in a state of war with the United States. As president, I have no higher obligation than to safeguard the lives of American citizens. And that is why I directed our armed forces to protect the lives of American citizens in Panama and to bring General Noriega to justice in the United States. starts to fall there's a surging of the spirit that exists within us all and as the tide of freedom rises across the sands of tyranny let our voices rise to celebrate the spread of liberty there is no easy road to freedom but the dignity of man Knowing that the rights they fought for are not gifts that we can buy. So let us not forget the people who have sacrificed before. Or the dreamers who now work so hard to make freedom real once more.
the beaches of the Keys. We can stand before the unknown and be proud of what we see. We cannot become complacent or allow ourselves to rest. For the business of democracy is unfinished at its best. There is no easy road to freedom. But the dignity of man is worth the cost. Though our history is young among the nations, 